Well, we are counting down to some spectacular launches tomorrow morning. SpaceX planning two launches within hours of each other. And experts say it's a bold move for the private space companies. The images of two rockets sitting on their respective paths isn't something you see every day. And here's News 6's Mark Lehman with the latest. Considering the money and planning that go into rocket launches, scheduling two in just over four hours is a pretty bold move for SpaceX. It's also something they've been preparing for. One expert giving us insight into how it's going to happen. It's a very long and involved process, very tiring, but very exciting. Dr. Ken Kramer is the managing editor of SpaceUpClose.com, capturing detailed images of rockets poised for launch. Now with two set to lift off just hours apart, things will be busy. Well, they have two launch teams. You couldn't do it otherwise. Um, so they do have to have rest, but you know, and it's two different pads. That's the way this is allowed too. SpaceX announcing one rocket launching from the Cape at 119 tomorrow morning. That's followed by another at 536 from Kennedy Space Center. This has never been done before, never even been attempted before. So it's extremely ambitious. Ignition and lift off. It's also coming out of necessity as the private space company is looking to keep a busy launch schedule that's been hindered by weather delays. We have not only very high winds at the launch site, we also have very choppy waves at the landing site for the booster. The rockets are the 18th and 19th Starlink missions, each set to deploy 60 high-speed internet satellites into orbit, bringing the constellation to more than 1,100. And they're only about 300 away, so about four or five launches away from that capability to offer full service in the U.S. Kramer also says safety is paramount in this and everything needs to align perfectly for both launches. If they happen, we'll carry them live here on News 6 and also on ClickOrlando.com. Mark Lehman, Getting Results, News 6.